Hello there. It's been a while since I've done an update to the channel, but there are a few things I'd like to discuss about moving forward. First off, CG Figures recently cleared 2,000 subscribers. It's been just under a year since I uploaded the first videos, and to everyone who's taken an interest and participated in building this community, thank you very much. It really means a lot to me, and I can only hope that it will continue to grow in the future. I've mentioned before that CG Figures is not my full-time job. I'm actually starting a new research position soon, and that will likely have an impact on how frequently I can make new tutorials and assets, as they do take quite some time. I 100% plan to continue, and I'm actually going to be expanding the range and format of the videos, which is what I'm really going to discuss here. I enjoy the challenges of 3D scientific illustration and research. I love doing it, but it takes a while to be able to put forward something that I think is useful for people starting out, and when I find people better equipped to teach those things, I like to leave it up to them. I often get many tutorial ideas from people emailing me with a question about their own research, and many tutorials on the channel are the result of exactly that, so I do welcome specific cases. If you have a specific request for something related to your own research, please email it to me at cgfigures at gmail.com with any supporting examples you can. Other figures, real data, photos, anything like that it really helps, and I do try and turn those requests into tutorials for the general community. Often, I make tutorials that are intended to be shorter, so that all the work that goes into creating a model or effect is cut down to the final tutorial length of anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes for the end user. Those videos tend to be step by step, with all the parts explained in detail for those less familiar with 3D. When I started the channel, the original format I wanted was two to five minute videos that assumed a basic familiarity with Blender, but gave a very quick look at how to make a certain effect. I'm actually going to start making videos in that style, as well as the longer format. That way, anyone familiar with Blender can have a quick tutorial or refresher version, and anyone just starting out can get the same effect without having much prior experience. In terms of non-technical formats, I'm going to start adding some more commentary videos. Those will address figure design and accessibility, a critical look at what makes a good figure for papers, grants, presentations, etc. I'll also continue to highlight resources for scientists and artists, provide advice for starting out with 3D, examine case studies, and look at scientific graphics in different fields of research. On occasion, I'll toss in some commentary about working in scientific illustration versus more of what I do, which is technical breakdowns of figures for research articles or TOCs. There will also be videos about Blender-specific things and community efforts I'm making through CG Figures. One type of video I've wanted to make for a while are figure and effect breakdowns, where I'll pull from a reference library of figures or videos that I've collected, and I'm going to sort of discuss how a certain look or model was created. A few examples are already available as Patreon exclusives, but I'll be bringing that type of content to the main channel. As it stands right now, I think I have somewhere between 500 and 1,000 different journal TOCs that I've highlighted as being interesting or compelling or having some aspect that I think is worth discussing and sort of a range of common figure elements that I'd like to recreate in different tutorials. As much as possible, I will try and focus on common motifs in different fields, how people make biological cells, device stacks, batteries, fibers, flexible sheets, things that show up frequently. For much bigger productions, I won't be making recreations because many are the product of full studios and likely took a team of professional animators and artists in combination with scientific advisors and experts. That said, I'll definitely look at some of those and indicate what technical effects I think were used for anyone who you know, is kind of taking a stab at it from an amateur perspective. Something akin to a scientifically minded VFX artist breakdown. In terms of assets, I'll be continuing with that work as well. The free glassware sets have been very well received, and I'm going to be making expansions to some of the existing ones, such as phospholipids and cell builder in the future. From a more blender heavy side, I'll be doing videos on tips and tricks I've found helpful and will also be branching into more work with procedural effects. I've been slowly, slowly upgrading my personal computer, and in the future, I would really like to include some simulation and animation tutorials. Integrating Blender with scientific software and with data visualization is a long-term goal, and there are fantastic efforts being made throughout the community that I will absolutely be highlighting. And that just about wraps it up. I've got a few scripts on the go for upcoming videos, so expect those in the not-too-distant future. Many thanks to those who support me on Patreon, to everyone who's engaged with me or with the channel to help build up this community. If there are suggestions for future videos or topics you'd like me to consider, please feel free to email me. Again, that's cgfigures at gmail.com, and I'll put that link in the description, or the email address in the description, rather. Additionally, if you're comfortable sharing your work with me, I'm happy to promote research articles, figures, presentations, graphics, portfolios, all that through Twitter, which is also CG Figures. So you can tag me there at CG Figures, and if you've made it with help from one of my tutorials, 
I really appreciate the opportunity to be able to showcase your work because it helps build the community further by showing off what is possible. So as always, thanks for coming out. Look forward to more videos and assets, and until next time, you have yourselves a great old day.